Now, there is a very, uh, very interesting amendment made by introduction of a section called ATPA, Finance Act 18 has done it. To be able to understand that deduction, we need to go a little more into detail as to what is the deduction talking about. This actually section is one which you do not do at interlevel. So, ATP, ATPA are two sections we need to look at to first understand. You know, India is a agricultural based country. We know that the income from agriculture is exempt under section 10. But we did this, I am sure you remember, that agricultural income beta wo hai, which is directly from agriculture. You know, agriculture was defined under 2 1A. So it was rent from land used for agriculture, rent from buildings or farmhouses used for agriculture, sale of agricultural produce, which was, you know, the basic operations and the subsequent operations had to be performed. So those activities are agricultural activities. What about there is a society or a trust that is probably giving loans to farmers and earning income that is not agricultural income. Or maybe they are marketing to an, a society which is not actually growing agricultural produce, which is just marketing on, on it on behalf of farmers. This is also not agriculture. So, some of these entities were eligible for a deduction under ATP, but only if they were formed or incorporated as a cooperative society. So let's start writing this down in our minds. So we say section ATP was giving a deduction to incidental activities relating to agriculture, but this deduction was available only to a cooperative society. Now, if the incidental operations society was registered as a trust and they were registered under section 12AA, they could have claimed a deduction or exemption under section 11. People who are directly into agriculture can claim a exemption under section 10. Now what started happening was uh, the structure of the cooperative society, there were a lot of approvals, a lot of political interference which actually did not allow proper business to be conducted. Therefore, in the 1990s and 2000s, the cooperative structure went out of favor with the public at large. Even Amul, which you know we say is the largest cooperative, they started reviewing. They were not being run as a professional entity. They were not being able to take decisions, the profit making. So at that time, there is this new entity that was given rise to. We call it the producer company or the farmer producer company. It is a body corporate registered under the Companies Act 2013. In terms of section 465 of the Companies Act 13, the provisions of chapter 9A of the Companies Act 1956 shall be applicable to a producer company. The objects of the producer company shall conform to the activities included in section 581B of the Companies Act 1956. The highlights are unlimited count of shareholder members, but with a condition that the member should only and only be a primary producer or farmer. So you can have as many members as you want. It can have a single registration and operate throughout India including exporting business in contrast to the cooperatives who will of course have their own restrictions, no exports and so on. No political intervention by the government or local authority will, which will enable the entity to run autonomously on its own independently of government interference and we all know wherever there is government interference there will be delays, there will be red tapism and of course work is going to be very very slow. It can enter into joint ventures, alliances and also have subsidies which is not the case for a society. A society cannot have subsidies. It can distribute its earnings back to its members. It does not need to plow back the profits. It does not need to put the profits back into the business in proportion of the contribution and not necessary as per the shareholding pattern. So they can actually, actually work like a company but it's a producer company. Every member has one vote irrespective of the number of shares held by him which is the essence of cooperative society. Every member has one vote irrespective of the number of shares held by him 
which is the essence of cooperative society which means the cooperative society the voting is different over here every member will have a vote it can be run by professionals by designating them on board which is not in the case of a society in case of a cooperative society it is run by the members but a farmers producer company can now appoint professional uh, to professionals to run the entity mbas with degrees abroad so that the businesses can be run more professionally in a nutshell we are not here to discuss what these features are we are just saying cooperative society was getting a deduction of atb but cooperative society was not a very efficient working system therefore even amul shifted to forming a company as per the companies act and to be running it as a professional but this is not a normal company it's not as if you can issue shares to the public you have to have members like we just said but with a condition that the member should only and only be a primary producer of farm so the members have to be producers and farmers there is a condition now the problem that comes is atp is giving a deduction to cooperative societies there is no section giving a deduction to these companies which are also doing the same work and they are doing it differently they are being incorporated as a company so here is where atp a comes in which was long promised finance act 18 the finance minister has fulfilled the promise by giving a deduction under atp a to these farmer producer companies so just to summarize it for you atp is for cooperatives if you are directly into agriculture you are getting an exemption of section 10 if you are registered as a society or a trust you may claim exemption under section 11 but in that case you have to plow 85% of the profits you have to use it for charitable purposes there are other conditions so here is an entity in atpa which is a farmer producer company which can share profits and that is now going to be eligible for a deduction under atpa